Hi and welcome to this uh, quick video on how to use PDF resources in Teams assignments. You may have some great um, PDF resources that you normally print out and hand out in class and this is just looking at a couple of ways that you could maybe integrate those into a um, Teams assignment um, and make them editable for the students to complete in Teams and send back to you. Right, so we, here we have a PDF resource, which is um, a poem followed by a series of questions. Um, and it's all in PDF format, which you could attach to an assignment in um, Teams, but it wouldn't obviously wouldn't then be editable by the student. So we need to look at a way to make this editable. OK, so here I am in my class team. And rather than starting straight away with assignments, I'm going to start in my class notebook. You may or may not have set up your class notebook yet, but it's easy to get started with. Um, and then I'm going to um, open my class notebook in the browser to just to make it easier to use, really. Got it open down here. Right. I'm choosing a space in my class notebook where I'm going to create my resource. So I, I'm going to make mine in the uh, content library and I'm going to call my page Tiger. And what I'm going to do is um, use the snippet tool to take out the image portions of my um, PDF resource. So I'm going to start by snipping out this big picture here. And then I'm going to pop that into my OneNote page, just paste it in. OK, that's going, it's just processing. Brill. And the next thing I'm going to do is um, go back to my PDF. And for the questions, I'm going to try and cut, uh, copy and paste them. The actual text as opposed to take a snippet. So copy that one. Go back to my notebook and paste it in. There we go. And I'll just do the other one. I'll copy the question. Go back to my notebook and paste it in. Great. I'm going to just... Uh, tidy this up a little bit and give them a bit more room to um, answer the question and maybe put these questions into um, what well, might make them green and bold just so they stand out a little bit more. Fine, so that's all finished. Let's go back to um, Teams and this time we're going to look in assignments and I'm going to start a new assignment. So I'm going to Create an assignment and the title will be Tiger and my instructions will be read the poem and answer the questions. And then when I add the resource, rather than adding a link to a document, I'm going to add a link to my class notebook here. And then I'm going to have to search. If you remember, I'll put it in the content library. And then hopefully it will be in there somewhere. There it is. And attach it. At this point, it, what it's going to do is take my notebook page and repeat it into every one of my students' um, teams or you know, OneNote page. So I need to ask them where they where we would like that to land within their um, class notebook. Um, so a handout seems appropriate. Let's put it in there. Done. Great. So carry on and finish your um, assignment details and then assign it. That's great. When I look at this um, assignment now, I've only got one student in this team. Look at Stanley's. You'll see that it's it's given him within his assignment the whole picture that I cut out, which included the poem. But the questions are then editable um, in the darkness. 
of the night. Obviously, I'm not in this as a student, um, so I can't submit it. But if I was the student, um, I would be able to submit this now, at which point as the teacher, when I received the assignment, I could add my feedback here as normal, but also with the added advantage that I could um, add feedback within the actual wooden note page. So I could do it. Yes, that's lovely. Okay. The main problem with using um, this technique of um, having a PDF, using a PDF within um, an assignment on Teams is that if you either um, import a printout of a PDF or use my technique of um, snipping parts of your PDF out of the picture, it will stop um, the text from being readable with Immersive Reader. It's essentially um, a picture so it won't read it. So just to um, give you an example, within this version that I've created, I copied and pasted all of the text out of my PDF and just snipped the pictures. And you'll find now that if you do want to read the poem with Immersive Reader, it should work fine because it's back in as proper text. Yeah, it's picking up the um, whole thing. The Tiger by William Blake. Tiger, Tiger. OK. OK, I hope you found the video useful. I know that we do have schools um, within the EdTech demo project with children as young as six or seven using Teams assignments. Um, and they might find it difficult to download a document, edit it, re-upload it. So hopefully this just gives you one workaround of making your um, PDF documents editable um, straight within the Teams assignment and then just one button to submit. All right, thanks for watching then. Bye.